What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As always, it's Gregor Outdoors. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss an upload. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. Um, as you guys can tell by the thumbnail and the title of the video, we're actually patterning the shotguns today. Um, I've already got everything set up. Um, uh, I just want to go over, I bought a, a medium range, so a modified, and a long range choke tube for my Breda A300 from Carlson's Choke Tubes. Um, so I'm going to get those patterned out today, and I want to see what they compare to for my modified choke that I usually run out of my Breda A300 that came stock with the gun from Beretta. And then I'm also going to pattern my new 20 gauge that has the modified choke in it already. And um, we're going to be using Winchester and Kent 20 gauge steel to do that. And then for my 12 gauge, we're going to be using heavy steel and Kent. Uh, those are the two ones that I use the most. So that's what we're going to be patterning out of my gun. Um, but this is, this is the setup I got going here. So I got one of this this duck splatter target so you guys can see exactly what the pattern is going to look like and then I have a my GoPro uh, you know fixed on the target so we can see real time what that looks like after I take the shot. But I hope you guys like the video. Stay tuned. Uh, hopefully we can get a pretty good pattern out of this. Uh, what the plan is to do, uh, I'm going to do everything at 20 yards. Uh, so the full, uh, modified, everything's going to be at 20 yards and then the 20 gauge is going to be at 20 yards as well. So uh, stay tuned. Like I said, hopefully this is going to be a good one. We'll get some good information out of it. All right, folks. So uh, the first one is going to be the heavy shot um, at 20 yards. Like I said, I got my ear protection. Um, we're going to take a look and see how this uh, how this goes. So stay tuned. All right, folks. So with the the heavy shot at 20 yards with the modified Carlson's choke tube that I that I got uh, this is what the pattern looks like it's not it's not bad it looks a little high uh, I'm assuming that's that's my error but um, I got the Kent fast steel so we're gonna try that at 20 yards with the the uh, aftermarket Carlson's uh, modified and see what happens there All right, folks, so this is the Kent uh, Fast Steel at 20 yards. This is what the pattern looks like. Again, a little high. Um, not terrible. Um, comparatively speaking, I think there's more pellets on target uh, with the Kent at 20 yards than there is with the heavy steel. But um, I'm going to switch chokes. I'm going to go to the full choke. We're going to shoot that at 20 yards and see how that looks. <clears throat> All right, folks. So we got um, the heavy steel one and a quarter uh, and number three shot at 20 yards, full choke with the Carlson's aftermarket. Let's see what happens. All right, folks. So this is the heavy shot Carlson's full choke at 20 yards look at the the pellets on target here not surprising for a full choke at 20 yards there's an enormous amount of pellets on target here uh, we're gonna check and see what Kent looks like uh, stay tuned All right, folks, this is the Kent uh, three inch number three shot, one and an eighth at 20 yards. Um, I don't know if I shot that kind of high. I'm assuming it was me, um, but not nearly as many pellets on the target as we had the heavy shot full choke. Um, so now I'm going to switch out and put the original modified uh, choke tube that comes with uh, that comes with the gun and uh, we're gonna shoot that at 20 yards with both the heavy heavy shot and the Kent steel So we'll see what happens there 
All right, folks. So, like I said, uh, this is the the stock modified uh, choke tube for the Beretta A300. Uh, comes with the gun when you purchase it. So, we're gonna give this a shot with the the heavy shot and the Kent fast steel. So, stay tuned. All right, folks. Yet again, here is the heavy shot with the modified um, choke tube that comes stock with the Breda A300. Uh, yeah, um, I definitely think I'm, sh I'm shooting a little high. Um, so we're gonna try to bring it down a little bit with uh, with this next Kent st fast steel shot. Um, but overall, there's not a whole lot with the modified on target here. So we're gonna try to bring it down a little bit and. Take a little bit more time with this next shot and see what happens. This is the Kent Fast Steel 3 inch at 20 yards with the original modified choke. I took my time with the shot and uh, I think this one came out a lot better. Um, my my main camera did die, so I'm gonna use my phone. Uh, so you guys are not gonna see me um, shooting the 20 gauge now because I'm gonna switch to that because I'm done running the 12 gauge. But you will see the GoPro footage of it on target. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys the modified uh, Winchester load and then the Kent fast steel load and I'll go kind of go over what what size load charge and everything else like, like that that I'm using for the 20 gauge when I get done so stay tuned all right folks so we just shot the 20 gauge with the Winchester uh, uh, 20 gauge load it is three inch seven eighths shot uh, four seven eighths ounce four shot and this is what the pattern looks like at 20 yards, uh, it's not terrible. Um, we're gonna switch to the Kent Fast Steel. Um, same same load size, same shot size. So we'll see what the Kent looks like here in a second. Stay tuned. All right, folks. So at 20 yards, the Kent uh, seemed like it had about the same amount, maybe a little more on target uh, with the 20 gauge at 20 yards. Uh, this is what this looks like. Here is the Kent uh, 20 gauge at 20 yards. Uh, as you can tell, there's a significant amount of uh, pellets on target with this 20 gauge. Uh, and I'll kind of go over uh, what model, what brand uh, this 20 gauge is here in a few minutes. But that's what the uh, that's what the pattern looks like so far. So uh, we'll get to talking about this 20 gauge here in a minute. All right, folks, so this is the new 20 gauge. It is a legacy um, sports uh, pointer 20 gauge. It shoots two and three quarter and three inch shells. I bought it from here in the local gun shop. Uh, it's actually made in Reno, Nevada, which I didn't know. Um, it wasn't it wasn't too too expensive. I, I kind of I bought it for my daughter so that she can get into the um, and get in, get out here shooting with us this year. Um, She's used it a couple times. We're gonna get her going on it some pretty pretty steadily, but uh, so far I'm impressed. Um, it's pretty lightweight. It shoots pretty good as far as the pattern. Um, I'm interested to see what the full choke would look like, uh, but I don't know if that'll take uh, steel or not. But overall, I think that uh, today's pattern test kind of proved that the full choke, obviously. Um, anyways, overall, I'd say uh, obviously the full choke. Um, Provides a better uh, pellet count on target, uh, but I'll have to go over and look at each one of these individually. But I think I'm going to continue to run the uh, the full choke from the Carlson's aftermarket choke, just because I, I I like the way that it patterned better uh, at 20 yards. Uh, I like the way that it patterned better at 20 yards. But I'm also going to have to uh, see how this looks at 30 and 40 yards as well. So I'm going to end up having to purchase some more of these. Uh, these splatter targets from Rogers. So if you want to check those out, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Uh, I'll also leave a link down below for where I purchased these choke tubes at if you're interested there. Uh, what I believe is chokeTubes.com. Uh, it's a Carlson's uh, mid-range and long-range choke tube for the Breda A300. 
But I hope you guys got something out of this video. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, uh, let me know what you think of how it went. Like I said, uh, these uh, these are the um, the the shot uh, loads and everything that I used today. We got the Kent Fast Steel 20 gauge, three inch, seven eighths, and four shot. We got the Winchester 20 gauge, three inch, seven eighths, four shot. The Kent Fast Steel 12 gauge, three inch, one and an eighth, number three. And I also used the Heavy Steel three inch, one and a quarter, number three shot there. But like I said, I hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, I know I did, so I'm gonna be running the full choke here uh, going on. Make sure you ask pattern your guns. It's very important, obviously. I didn't do that before the season started, and I kind of regretted that at this point. But uh, hopefully from now on, throughout the season, it'll be a good season for us. So hope you guys are all getting out there doing some hunting. And until next time, get out there, enjoy the outdoors, and get those experiences. And uh, we'll see you next time.